You guys, Groove has gone crazy. So much doll news. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I've been looking at Facebook and sometimes like, you know, right before bed and all of a sudden I'll see like a brand new picture of a upcoming release of a pull-up doll and I will like jump out of my pajamas because what is going on, Groove? Sorry, calming down. I'm bringing it down. I wanted to do another um, doll news video because it's like left and right. We're seeing all of these beautiful, beautiful releases. Thank you, Groove, sort of. You're torturing us with like these grainy photos and these like mysterious releases. No dates. How do you get them? Ah, oh, gosh, sweet, sweet misery. Uh, anyway, if you're like me, you are just as excited uh, to see Groove kind of kicking it back in, right, with these new dolls, um, but also feeling the pain of not knowing. Um, I want to talk, I actually had to take notes. Seriously, I had to take notes because there's so many. I wanted to talk about um, some of these pictures we've seen. I'll share what I know. If you know anything else, let's just, let's just come together as a community. Uh, monochrome Alice. So I saw a picture of this doll on the Ars Gratia Facebook page. Beautiful. Looks like another version of the optical. No, not optical. It'll come to me. It won't come to me. Monochrome Alice. Sorry. Sorry. See, it came to me. I actually had to, I ran into the other room, ran back. Um, so it's like another color version of Monochrome Alice. Uh, dark hair, a little bit different face up. You know me, I love me and Alice, even if I can't remember all of their names. Um, so I'm definitely going to try to pre-order that one. Uh, fingers crossed that she's not at that crazy price that we saw the Veritas uh, come out for a little bit from Ars Gratia. Another one is Erica Nanette. So it is Fabulous to see another version of Nanette being released. Frankly, you don't even need to call her Nanette. You could just call her Erica because she looks completely different. Um, I will share some photos here, but um, beautiful, beautiful doll. I love kind of this uh, darker um, color, color tone to this doll. Uh, excited about that one. Also saw that on the Ars Gratia site. I think that one's up for pre-order on pullup.net. Uh, I'll put some links as well. Uh, in one of the pictures for Erica and Annette, there's also a mini version, which I think would be a darling little doll to have. Um, another one I saw is the collaboration between Baby the Star Shine Bright and Girlism. Y'all, let me just tell you, I about lost my mind. I got on that the Chinese eBay shop at like 2 a.m. It was bad. Like I, I'm glad I stepped away from my computer because I'm like, I'm about to hand over like all of my credit card information for this doll. But uh, the doll is called Eileen. I saw a few photos, just gorgeous. Obviously anything uh, Baby the Star Shine Bright put out is beautiful. It's kind of got this blue, uh, sort of a turquoise tone, blonde hair, sparkly glitter eyes. I am hoping, I am willing to spend bank for this doll if I can get my hands on it without compromising my identity <laughs> or my credit information. Um, another doll I saw, this is kind of near and dear to me, Junichi Nakahara. There were some sort of like Bigfoot sightings in uh, a store in Japan. I think it was kind of like a limited release and then I believe it's going to be released in the U.S. sometime next spring. Beautiful doll, uh, dark hair. Uh, she has these cute little ringlets and uh, kind of like has a little bit of an Anne of Green Gables feel to her with her dress. Um, and then last but not least, everybody about lost their minds. It was like complete pandemonium last night online and it was the cinema roll pull-up. It was so much craziness that pull-up style actually said, calm down everyone. We're going to get this doll. You'll be able to pre-order it. I don't think it's until maybe March or April of next year, but still really, really excited to know that that one at least will be in stock in pull-up style next year. And then this is kind of strange and different, but um, 
uh, Groove also announced a calendar, a desk calendar for 2018 that features a lot of the artwork that they did for the, the, the fine art uh, series. So if you remember, uh, they did the girl with a pearl earring and I think that doll was supposed to be the first in a series. They did these uh, beautiful photos of like Venus de Milo, Mona Lisa, gorgeous dolls and I just think it missed the mark a little bit with collectors and they never really uh, carried through with it. So really excited to see that in calendar form. All my friends are getting one, okay? All right. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit excited. This is the best, um, best month of news for pull-up collectors in quite a while. Um, I'm telling you, I wish we could see some better photos, but Fingers crossed, we'll get those uh, down the road here. If you have any questions, or more importantly, any information that you can share with me, that would be great. Um, and I will keep you posted with what I hear. So talk soon.